Guarding the greats. The few that seem to be touched by the basketball gods themselves. The challenge of guarding these basketball demigods ultimately falls on one person. The individual defender must funnel the greats into areas on the court where his team can block, surround, and smother the player. There are times this works perfectly, and there are times where nothing you do defensively works, and you are at the mercy of said great. Like you own, you own the ball, you own the game, you own the guy who's guarding you. You can actually play him like a puppet, like a puppet, like a puppet. I don't know about you, but I don't like the idea of being someone's puppet, which brings me to today's matchup. It's that old saying, shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you land amongst the stars. If Kevin Durant believes it's his responsibility to just slow down the king, then he'll probably fail. But if it's his obsession to hold LeBron scoreless, then he actually gives himself a better chance of slowing him down. So how should he prepare? How was LeBron as a child? What was his favorite cereal? Favorite toy? What was his favorite subject in school? Hmm, did he have a favorite teacher? Who? Why? What's his favorite color? Blue. What does that say about him? Maybe this explains why most of LeBron's points come from inside the paint. He likes a sure bet. Now that we've psychoanalyzed the man, let's figure out how that factors into his game. What are his habits and tactics? LeBron's habits. Do you want to know all of LeBron's secrets? This extraordinary video will show you LeBron's habits, rhythms, and routines. H-R-R's. And now, for a limited time only, this video cassette can be yours to own. You will see the Between the Legs Rhythm Jumper. Easy Baskets. Groovy Cross Court Passes. Groovier Step Back Jumper. The King Tornado Baseline Stand. And finally, the Right Shoulder Fade. Feel free to download LeBron's habits on YouTube. And I was sold separately. Sweet deal. Now let's take a closer look at some of these plays. To have any chance of shutting down a great, you must stop them from getting easy baskets. In this clip, Melo can see where LeBron is, but what's most important is where LeBron is in relation to the ball. Staying between him and the ball closes the door on that massive lane to the hoop that Bron turns into his own personal runway. Now this is a matchup problem. But still, there are things that can be studied and learned. Let's look at the amount of space that is between Andrew Bogut's feet and the parquet floor as he hops from spot to spot. That's too much of a gap. Why is that important? Think about it. The closer Bogut is to the hardwood on his defensive slides, the quicker his reaction time will be to change directions and prevent that near ACL tear. Most players will take one to two dribbles and then go into their move. One, two, one, two. This is their rhythm. This is their routine. This routine has been programmed into their bodies from practicing that move over and over again. By studying these practice routines, you can better anticipate and thereby disrupt their rhythm. Now, is breaking the game down like this a little obsessive? Absolutely. 
but when you're standing between a great and the basket, success comes down to one thing, knowing without a doubt that you've done your homework. Do you truly understand his psychological and tactical tendencies? And can you act upon this knowledge and use it against him? If your answer is yes to these questions, then you stand a good chance at slowing him down. The variable, of course, is that LeBron will make adjustments, which is what all great players do. All we can do as defenders is focus on that which we can control and leave the rest up to the basketball gods. May the gods be with you.